Are you? Jane? I'm Jane. Of course, I wasn't saying I'm Jane. You're <laughs> Jane. I'm John. Nice to meet you. Face to face. So? Yes. Your voice is different than I thought it would be. Really? Yeah. Different in a good way? Yeah, I mean, it's not like I thought you'd have a bad voice or anything, but your texts were really, really clever, and I was kind of picturing Tina Fey when I read them. And my God, I love her, even though she's older than me, but I love her and the way her voice is. Not her doing Sarah Palin, but actually kind of like that, because when I see her now, all I can think of is Sarah Palin. I hate Sarah Palin. <laughs> oh, well, I don't really have an opinion of her one way or the other. You don't? No. I don't think I've ever met anyone who doesn't have an opinion one way or the other about her. She's kind of irrelevant these days. What's that? It's my bra. Your bra? It's sensing something. Like what? It's telling me I don't believe you. Believe me about what? It's about Sarah Palin. What about Sarah Palin? It's telling me to be skeptical about your statement you have no opinion of her. Your bra can tell you that? I guess my heart started beating a little faster and my heart rate fell into the category of proceed with caution. And I took this to me maybe I shouldn't believe what you just said. A bra can do that. It's a smart bra. <laughs> do you want to order something? Coffee, glass of wine? Is that your bra again? It's warning me. I'm about to eat comfort food. You are very clever. <laughs> this thing knows me. It knew I was about to get a cookie. So it's like a diet thing. I guess. I still don't know the extent of what this bra can do because I'm just getting to know it. An Amazon drone dropped it, dropped it at my friend Dora yesterday. Oh. And it came with this link to a website where you program in all this stuff about yourself. And you sync it to your bra, like what time of day are you most likely to crave junk food? And when you crave it, do you go for chips or do you go for cookies and cakes? Salty versus sweet, I guess. Because maybe my heart beats differently, depending on how you like to binge. <laughs> I don't know technology. Wow. Right. And the manual says you have to be really honest about it or it won't work properly. And quite frankly, it was kind of hard for me to program in just how much I love wine because I know it's going to be buzzing like crazy every time I get the idea I want a Pinot Grigio and that's going to suck because it's like I've got the alcohol police trapped in my chest. <laughs> huh. That's wow. That's why it buzzed then because I mentioned wine. I was really feeling chocolate chips when it buzzed. I never would have gotten this from your text. I didn't have it when we started texting. And of course I had it programmed it, and that took forever. I suppose if I would have called you, we could have had some talks, and maybe I would have learned you are a sweet versus salty eater, and you like white wine more than red. I could have learned these things about you, heard your voice. That might have been awkward. What? Talking on the phone? Who does that? What about this? What? You don't think this is awkward? What? You think this is going well? What's wrong with it? Well, your bra called me a liar for one thing. <laughs> My bra doesn't call people out like that. Yes, it did. It simply indicated I might not want to believe you that you have no opinion of Sarah Van Halen. <laughs> It was just a red flag, an advisory sort of thing. What's happening now? I guess I'm nervous. Because? Because you're making me feel uncomfortable. Can we start over? I guess. I think we should just sit here and be silent for a moment 
and erase all the stuff that's just gone on, okay? Like just sit here and not say anything? Yeah. And just look at each other? Or look wherever you want. Just breathe. Just be in the moment. <laughs> Ouch! What happened? My God, that hurts. What did it do? It shocked me. The bra? Yeah. I need to adjust that setting. Holy crap. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But I've got to jog a little bit. It's just when you sit for too long, it gives you a jolt. and makes you get up and get moving. It actually counts your steps. And if it looks like you aren't going to get 10,000 steps in by the end of the day, it goes full on bitch mode and gets you a jolt. That sounds awful. Okay, I think that it's safe to sit down. I was counting in my head as I jogged, and I got about 25 steps in. And then when I did the jumping jacks, that really helped, because it dumps that activity into a savings account sort of thing that lets you sit for a little longer. And the bra massage be like, good job, Jane. It's supportive like that. Thanks for the props, bra. I guess I've appeased it for the time being. So where were we? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing? Mm, nothing. You're checking your phone. Are you with me or are you with your phone? I know, I know. I'm getting it loud and clear. You don't have to tell me. What? What are you getting loud and clear? I'm getting that your phone is more important to you than being here with me. You're getting that? Yes, I am. Well, you want to know what I'm getting? What are you getting? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What are you looking at? Let's just say they make similar technologies for uh, men. Like a smart? <laughs> yep. And you get nothing from me. Crickets. Like you don't think I'm attractive? I actually find you attractive on the surface. <laughs> what just happened? It stopped. I don't know what I feel. If I had a guess, I think I'd feel like maybe I flew it with you. I think maybe I was a little too harsh. What if we tried something new? Like what? What if you took off your bra? I suppose I could do that. <laughs> your turn. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess you'll need to go to the bathroom. No, there's an app on my phone for that. <laughs> I'm John. I'm Jane. Nice to, to finally meet you. <laughs>